Yo, what's up? It's been way too long. My stomach is like grumbling. Yo, it's been way too long since I made my last video. It's been literally two to three months. Why you ask? Dude, no one even watches your videos. Shut video. up. Yes. You're in every one of these videos and you're still annoying as hell. Anyways, I'm working on bigger productions. Have y'all seen the movie It? No, I haven't seen the movie. Mm, I will murder you. <laughs> well, I'm making a short film based off of the movie It. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be amazing. I am filming the skit on November 22nd. That is Thanksgiving weekend and it will be posted December 1st. Look out for that one. Now that the announcement's over, let's get to the video. Now, when you start off, you wanna find a location that looks nice. If you have a location that looks like a dumpster, it actually might work. But you don't want a location that has a flat background. If I did it right here, it will look completely photoshopped or it just won't look nice at all. For starters, you want a location that has a nice horizon. Take a look at this picture that I have. You can clearly see the background defines the photo and it adds depth. It doesn't look like he was just placed into the photo. Now to start, there are a few things that you're going to need. One, a camera. You can use your phone, you can use a DSLR, it really doesn't matter. The second item is a stool, preferably a small stool. That way it makes it light and easier to move around. It is also recommended for your subject to wear a jacket. Just to cover up that stool a little bit makes it a lot easier to edit. If, like in my case, you did not have a jacket, it will be a lot harder to edit and you may have to crop his butt out a little bit just like I did. Now that you have all the tools you need, the next step is absolutely crucial to the entire photo. You need to take a picture of the background without the subject, without the stool, without the jacket. Just a clean picture of the background. This will help take out the stool in Photoshop, making it look like it was never there. Now that you have a clean slate, all you need to do is have your subject move in the frame and take a photo of him on the stool in whatever pose you want. Simple enough? Yeah, we're not done yet. Now we need to move into Photoshop. In Photoshop, all you need to do is grab your clean layer, drop it inside the project and have it set as the background. Then you take the photo with your subject and you move it on top of that layer. You go ahead and turn the top layer into a layer mask and you go ahead and get your brush tool out. Now you need to make sure that your brush tool colors are set to default by pressing D or hitting that reset button. You need to make sure that your foreground color is black. At this point, all you need to do is paint away the stool. It's not that hard, just don't forget to feather so it doesn't look too harsh. In my case, he didn't have a jacket, so I had to be much more tedious and reshape his butt. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, still leave a big thumbs up. You know I enjoy constructive criticism, so if you have anything to say, just go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Just don't make it too aggressive or else I'll be crying in the corner. <laughs> Yeah. He like called me fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye 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 bye. -bu -bu -bu